very few people know what we're doing. They don't understand the uh, full extent of our civic action and psychological operations in Vietnam. It's one thing to send in troops and win a victory, push the communist uh, military out of an area, but uh, then how do you keep it won once, once you have done this? And this is going to be the subject of my talk. Uh, the special forces of men who wear the Green Berets are, of course, uh, very active in this particular work. In fact, special forces are the key uh, forces in this role. Uh, they go into an area, take a area like uh, Oh Ha Tien, that's uh, right near the Cambodian border. When I was first there, I never, I never took my finger off the uh, catch of my machine gun the whole time I was walking around in there. Now I come back there, and because of the civic action problems uh, of the civic action program, uh, building hospitals, uh, setting people up in businesses, everything from ice plants to uh, getting little treadle drills for dentists, uh, anything you can think of, uh, they're doing there to uh, encourage this to make the people realize that they have something worth fighting for. When I went back to Ha Tien this last time after uh, the Special Forces have put in nine months of very uh, rigorous effort uh, on civic action, uh, not only did I not even have to go armed, but I found out that they... Uh, we're even billing Ha Tien as a tourist resort, and Air Vietnam was flying in two tourist flights a week. And this is all what we're doing to try to keep the area one. Whereas a year and a half ago, uh, a uh, communist could come into the area and nobody would report him. Now, the minute they even suspect anybody of being a communist, they immediately report it to the Vietnamese district chief or the United States Special Forces men.